Smart parking is one of the areas with the highest interest on the cities. Optimizing the traffic is one of the main goals of city planners, and it reduces the pollution and improves the life quality of the citizens. We have a smart parking sensors that I would like to show you now. So in our website, if we go to products, we go to the dedicated page of the smart parking sensor. Here you can see it is a, a kind of disc that it's a, either drilled or buried inside the ground. It has a dual uh, detection system, so detects by the magnetic field and also by the signal strength, which is the RSSI. It has a double communication radio, Sigfox and LoRaWAN. It can be installed just on top of the surface by drilling the, the bolts or under the rope, as I will show you afterwards. Uh, you can make it compatible with your own cloud. So we provide APIs, open source. Um, it can be con con configured to one minute uh, measuring. So you don't need to be programming. It's done by the configuration software that we provide. And it is compatible with any Sigfox or LoRaWAN cloud backends or base stations. It is IP68 and can be also configured remotely. It is also certified in our main markets uh, for Europe and, and the US. So a bit of our the dual detection systems. Um, you can see more information here. It, it basically detects the variation on the magnetic field that happens when a car comes on place and also uses the signal strength uh, to improve, let's say, the detection of the magnetic field by uh, software, right? So depending on the signal strength, it can also correct the, the, the signal, the measurement, to be able to uh, have a double security uh, and improve then the detection rate up to 99%. Here you can see the two different connectivity options. Sigfox uh, is using the infrastructure deployed by the Sigfox network operators. And LoRaWAN, you can deploy your own private network. So you would deploy your gateways and create this signal and uh, use, use this signal to uh, for, so for the parking sensors to send the data uh, to the gateways and then to the cloud. Here you can see like the two options for installation. One would be just on the surface. One would be uh, buried into the ground. You can uh, drill a hole, put the sensor, put some concrete on top of it, and the signal would be a strong uh, steel. So we have tested the operation, and this is especially relevant for these countries where um, it snows and then the snow machines can could rip off the, the parking sensor. So for um, cold weathers or uh, non-cold weathers where you can install it in the, in the surface. So as we said, the enclosure is uh, IP68. Here you can see um, a screenshot of the configuration software. You can go here to find out more details. You can set up remotely from the cloud the parameters. So starting the testing, uh, measuring every minute or measuring every five minutes, depending on the requirements, and change all these parameters. The lifetime uh, can be 10 years. So depending on the time that you configure and uh, the communication protocol, uh, you can so the lifetime of the module can change from seven, eight, nine, or even to ten years, and it's compatible with any uh, LoRaWAN cloud or uh, any Sigfox backend cloud uh, of the countries. Here you can see uh, some products, including also software visualization that I will show you now, and again a basic architecture of how the sensor nodes use LoRaWAN or Sigfox base stations. Uh, that send the data to a Sigfox or our own uh, backend cloud and uh, front-end applications as like the ones that we're going to show you right now. So here, for example, with our partner Symfony Mobile, we have selected um, 10 units with a uh, LoRaWAN gateway and the software provided by, uh, in this case, Symfony Mobile, right? So here you can see some screenshots. Uh, description of the software, the free trial period that you have access if you purchase this kit, the scheme of the architecture, how the sensor send the data to the LoRa gateway uh, and using a, a backend LoRaWAN cloud and a front-end software application done by Symfony. 
here, uh, the bill of materials of the kit, including also the installation kit, the magnet for reset, here links to the technical guides, very important for to configure, also to the gateway um, technical guide, the technical consultancy, which is included in the kit, in case you have uh, difficulties setting up the system, and again, uh, all relevant information for this solution kit. And I want to show you uh, some of our case studies related with smart parking. So in our website, libellium.com, if we go to the section case studies, we can filter them by the smart parking. And we see, for example, this project in France, in Montpellier, uh, where they deployed our sensors, our parking sensors, to be able to improve the, let's say, the navigation time for the people to go directly to the free spots. This project was done by Sinox, uh, a French company, and Factory System, our distributor there. And Sinox also deployed, uh, used uh, a software application that we will see. They use LoRaWAN as an infrastructure uh, for this project. Here you can see a scheme of how it works, how the sensor detects if there is a car, uh, uses the LoRaWAN network to send the data to this LoRaWAN gateway and from there to the cloud. And here you can see some uh, information, basic uh, screenshots of the software application. Relevant information, links, technical guides, more information, contact of the companies involved here available in the website. Now uh, let's go through the catalog and see what are the different options for the smart parking uh, solution. Just a way to go quickly to the website. If we search parking, We'll go directly to the first page. Well, the different solution kits of the smart parking. Uh, I'd like to show you the two of them that we have on the catalog. Here, going to the parking uh, pages of the catalog, you will find uh, one kit with Sigfox, which is uh, which we have done with our partner Jasam Tech. This includes 10 parking sensors and the installation kit and the configuration, which is done in our factory. So you will receive the this kit with the sensors already configured towards the Sigfox backend and the front end uh, software application for visualization of the data, free spaces and everything by our partner, Jasam Tech. So this would be the Sigfox kit. And then uh, we have the LoRaWAN kit uh, that we have done with our partner, Symfony Mobile. Uh, so it consists on 10 parking sensors, the installation kit consisting on the USB programmer, the key to for to use with the bolts, the magnet uh, reset, the configuration service, and uh, the multi-take LoRaWAN gateway. Okay, so with this you would receive the sensors, the gateway, and uh, the software front-end software application done by Symfony, and everything configured. So that would be a 10 parking um, kit with uh, this Symfony software application. Then. The other option for the kits are the ones that do not include uh, the software application and um, are just basically six or 10 parking sensors and you need to add an installation kit. So depending on the region, Europe or America or Asia Pacific, you can select six or 10 units plus the installation kit. Be sure to include the installation kit, otherwise, uh, you won't be able to configure their sensors or install them to the ground as the installation kit includes the magnet for reset, the configurator USB, and the keys to uh, basically screw the bolts uh, of the parking sensor. 